A big product announcement day, another major brand is using Polygon and Polygon metrics continue to hold strong. Welcome back everyone to another Polygon Matic update video. Make sure that you are subscribed so you're never missing out. Follow me on Twitter where I post daily Polygon information at NARB Trading and let's dive in. So yesterday we got a tweet from Mr. Sandeep Nailwall, co-founder of Polygon. The biggest alpha in Web3 is people think ZK EVM is 12 to 18 months away. They are in for a surprise at ETHCC, which starts the 19th of July. So ETHCC is the Ethereum Community Conference, and we have been talking a lot about a Polygon ZK EVM expected to be here soon. And folks, this is, I can only assume, referring to Hermes 2.0, and this conference is only three to four weeks away. So a Polygon ZK EVM hitting testnet is a very, very big deal. Polygon's focus on ZK tech is coming together. We just had Polygon Nightfall launch on mainnet, which is a mixture between an optimistic and ZK rollup. And now we have a full-blown ZK EVM rollup, most likely hitting testnet within the next month. So we are now watching the Polygon thesis of having multiple layer two scaling solutions come alive. I do believe that the future of scaling is on layer twos on top of Ethereum, and I know it's easy to get caught up in the hype of other layer ones, but I think there comes a point where you realize monolithic chains just cannot scale for the masses. But it will be really exciting to see this happen. Also keep your eye out for Polygon Avail, which I think could be coming really any day now, and just lots of great things happening within the world of Polygon. But let's move on now. Next up we have Bentley Motors joining the NFT space. Today we announced our first venture into the NFT marketplace with a one-time NFT drop on the carbon neutral Polygon network scheduled for September 22nd and limited to just 208 pieces. Discover more. So notice how they mentioned Polygon is carbon neutral. Yesterday we discussed how brands are hesitant to enter the space because of the backlash of energy usage. Well now that Polygon is officially carbon neutral, these brands or companies are going to feel much more comfortable getting involved. So I do think that we will start to see even more of this type of thing happen from here on out. And I'm sure these companies will be sure to let their customers or community members know that Polygon is carbon neutral. But Bentley Motors launching a project on Polygon in September of this year. Add another big name to the list. Moving on now to the next piece for today. I want to show you guys a tweet that I put out earlier today showing Polygon daily transactions. So Polygon steadily processing 3 million transactions daily while the market has gotten crushed. We call that sustained adoption. So if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I like to look at the data and metric side of things. And Polygon Polygon, even with this market crash, has held up impressively well. Most activity across the board in Web3 has been down, which is very common when we see the market go down, but Polygon activity is still holding its own. For comparison, if we go and look at a chain that is talked about quite often in the space, Avalanche, Avalanche is currently executing around 600,000 transactions per day, again, Polygon at around 3 million. So Polygon is performing great during these bearish times. I can only imagine where things will go during the next bull cycle. Of course, I am expecting this adoption to grow massively over time. So just wanted to give that a quick shout out and adding on to this, we have the newest edition of Polygon Insights. So if you are unfamiliar, this is a weekly blog that covers Polygon metrics and weekly active users was 741,000. Average transactions per day was 3.31 million, which was an increase of 13% from the previous week. Average cost was 3 cents. Transactions per address was 31, up 26%. And finally, look at that daily revenue up 190% at 109K. So another solid week for Polygon, those revenue numbers seeing an almost 200% increase is definitely not bad. And then for some key takeaways, Polygon launches the second edition of Build It, one of the biggest Web3 hackathons, and three new game titles are coming to Polygon. Play Wildcard, Play Metal Core, and Derby Stars. Uniswap V3's volume continues to grow for the third consecutive week, reaching 814 million. Cafe Swap saw an increase of 89%, and BitKeep also saw an increase of 133%, entered the maximum growth list of DeFi projects. Top three TVL games gainers in the past week, Uniswap up 64% at 120 million, Gains Network 9.3 million up 20%, and Sphere Finance up a whopping 15,000% at 3.5 million. The best performing games were Arc 8 at 38.4k, Pegaxi 20.2k, and Sunfall Land 19.8 thousand. And then we have the gas fee saved by using Polygon over Layer 1 Ethereum, 38.14 million daily, which is around $11.5 per transaction. So overall, folks, the Poly Polygon metrics are looking great. A lot of projects are seeing a good amount of growth at this time as well, and that is awesome to see when things are bearish. But now moving on to the final thing I want to show you all for today. It is a tweet from Ryan Wyatt, the CEO of Polygon Studios, and that is just a little sneak peek at the upcoming One Planet NFT marketplace that will be launching on Polygon within the next couple months. We've been talking about One Planet quite a lot lately. They were previously on Terra and are now migrating over to Polygon, and folks, they are bringing a lot of Terra projects with them.
them. So one planet will exclusively be on Polygon. I love to see Polygon only marketplaces because up until this point, we really don't have that breakthrough marketplace that everyone uses. Obviously, Polygon is on OpenSea, but OpenSea also offers many different chains. But this little sneak peek of the interface is looking great. I'm really excited to see all the different Terra projects make their way over to Polygon and hopefully see some success. And that, folks, is going to be it for today's video. I thank you all very much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed so you're never missing out. Leave a like, it really helps me out. I will see you all next time.